blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, to give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, what you've put in my heart to speak. And I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. What time is it? Romans 13 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. For years I have been seeing the number 1111 everywhere. Before we gave our heart to the Lord back in 2011, uh, we bought a house. 2011, get that? And that house number was 1111. So, okay, it is a given that all my mail that comes to my home is addressed to 1111, the house number. But later, I took a trip, and I had a reservation in a motel that was made months earlier, and that room number was not 1111. But when they saw that I had a limp, with a very, very bad knee problem, uh, they asked me if I wanted a handicap room, and I told them, sure, that would be nice. So, well, as it just so happens, the new room number was 1111. I saw that number on license plates, on billboards, on signs, and especially on my, on my clock, my alarm clock. And it was not like I was looking at the clock and waiting for it to change to 1111. I would just look over at it and it would say 1111. Uh, for several years, everywhere I looked, I was seeing 1111, but about five years ago, it slowed way down, and then I started seeing 444 everywhere, and I was seeing that on my clock, and and I mean a lot. I saw it uh, on signs, on billboards, and phone books, uh, in advertising, I just saw it everywhere, and it, it was like an 1111 showing up for several years. Now, both these numbers are showing up at the same time along with a new number that has been showing up a lot in just the past six weeks or so. And that number is 747. Now I prayed on these numbers and what they mean. And the Holy Spirit revealed that 1111 is scripture and it relates to the lateness of the hour. The number 444 from the Strong's Concordance and also relates to the uh, earthly ministry of Jesus, 44 months and four days. And the number 747 is also a famous jetliner manufactured by Boeing. Now you may ask, now how is that biblical? Stay with me, I'll show you. Now millions of people around the world have been seeing 111 or 1111 everywhere. And more than just a coincidence, don't you think? Uh, 11 on the clock is the last number before 12 relating to the lateness of the hour. In, then you have Jeremiah 11:11. 11, 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord: Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. The number 444 on page 398 of the strongest Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, Hebrew Aramaic Dictionary to the Old Testament, says to become morally corrupt. Now is not America and the world now morally corrupt. Also, from the start of Jesus' earthly ministry on September 11th, 26 AD, to his crucifixion on April 5th, 30 AD, Jesus' public ministry spanned exactly 44 months and four days. This duration of 444 holds profound significance. Now, the new number 747 if you are washed in the blood of Jesus and born again, then you have a ticket to catch a flight. Out of here when Jesus returns in the clouds to take his faithful home, to rapture us out of here. Now, I had a dream where I had, I had my ticket for a flight in my hand, and I was waiting at the gate to board my plane. And just then the announcer came over the PA system and announced that flight, the flight for heaven was now boarding at gate 7. The plane we were boarding was a 747. I'm sure that was just a coincidence. Do you have your ticket? 
If not, you need to repent of sin right now in all sincerity, in all humbleness. You need to, ad need to admit that you are a sinner in need of a Savior and that you are guilty and that you deserve punishment. You need to recognize Jesus Christ as the Son of God. With your mouth, you need, need to say these words. And also pray that Jesus enter into your heart and give you a new heart. These are the steps that the man on the cross beside Jesus took. And Jesus told him, This day you will be with me in paradise. And for good measure, you need to pray the blood of Jesus, wash over you, wash all your sin away, and wash you white as snow. And if you take these very same steps, you too can be with Jesus in paradise as well. Now there was another man who hung on the cross beside Jesus, and he mocked Jesus, and that man went to hell. And that man is still in hell today. The other man is still in heaven with Jesus today. And one day you will meet one of these men. Which one you will meet will meet. That's up to you. You must choose, but, cho but choose wisely. And to not choose means that you have denied and rejected Jesus Christ's, Christ's offer of salvation. If the Holy Spirit places it in your heart to support this ministry, God's ministry, then all we ask is that you be faithful to the Holy Spirit. One day money will not mean anything to you or me, as our money will be worthless in that place. One day the clock stops for the faithful. There will be no more time forever. And one day we will see Jesus face to face, and Jesus will hold each of us in his loving arms, and we will look into the eyes of God. And all we will see is love, the love the Creator has for his creation. And we will see the nail holes in his feet and, his, and in his hands, and the deep scars on his back. And only then will we realize the terrible price that was paid for our sin debt to redeem us back to God, the Father. And in that place there will be only joy, peace, and love. And there will be no more pain and no more suffering forever. And the only way to survive what is to come is to not be here as in being raptured. Every one of you have been a blessing, a gift from God to us and to this ministry. And in this ministry we do not have partners, we have family. And we love you like family, and we pray for you like family, because you are family. And we thank God for sending you our way. We will keep you and your family in our prayers. And God bless you, and God keep you in his loving arms, just like he held me. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. I'm always reminded, in one way or the other, I'm always reminded. I've, I've had so many coincidences, so many odd things that have happened that, that are spiritually based and the Holy Spirit has had contact with me over and over and over and our time is so short our time is so short once the Holy Spirit reminded me that we were one breath away from rapture but that was a breath of God oh Lord oh Lord thank you Jesus oh thank you Jesus thank you Jesus oh Lord we're so ready to go home Lord Oh, Lord, we're so ready to go home, Lord. Mm. Oh, Lord, we're so ready to go home. But thy will be done, Lord. Thy will be done, Lord. Thy will be done, Lord. And until then, we occupy. We occupy. And we work for you, Lord. And we just we pray to be found worthy to escape what's coming. Because, Lord, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. And we love all of you so very, very much. God bless you. God keep you in his loving arms, just like he held me. Mm. Mm. We're going home. We're going home. We're going home. We're going home soon. Mm. 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 Oh, Lord. Mm. Oh, Lord. We're going home soon. Mm. No, we're going home soon. Oh, get your ticket punched. Get your ticket punched. Be at the gate. Be ready to go. Be ready to go. We're flying soon. We're flying soon. We're flying soon. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm.